Hello, welcome back to Fun With Vintage. My name is Melanie, if this is your first video. If not, I'm so happy to have you back. Today we are going to another Goodwill. I had to find a few items for my upcoming drop, which is actually this Friday, and it just wasn't, the collection wasn't feeling complete. And I'm just like, I just need something else. And I definitely found it today. So stay tuned and see what we got. So my favorite find of the day has got to be this pair of wall sconces that are candle holders. I mean, look at that. How beautiful is that silhouette right there? These are so lightweight and they, I, I would have thought they would be heavy, honestly, with the real wood, with the mirror inside, but they're not. They're super light. They are just so pretty. They're in very good condition. A little bit of dings on the side just for, you know, normal wear. Don't mind my kids' puzzles on the TV stand in the mirror there. Um, that's just mom life. But I just, I was obsessed with these. I love the color. I love the fact that there were two of them. I mean, how often at a flea market, or flea market, at a Goodwill, do you find two things that are actually matching that's supposed to go together? I mean, I feel like that's getting more and more rare. Um, but yeah, these were so amazing. I wish I had a place for them in my house, but I don't. So these are actually going to be on my website um, for the May drop. So if you're interested in those, you can check them out, but they were oh, best find of the day for sure. And then look at these beauties. These are brass candlesticks. They are very heavy. I would say they're probably like a pound or two a piece. I mean, and compared to a lot of the other ones that I've seen, they, they're definitely, they have some weight to them. Um, they have the felt on the bottom here, a beautiful patina on them. You can see 
that um, it has aged really well. I do have to clean them up. There's quite a bit of wax residue on the inside and along the ring here, but I just loved the different um, bevels on the top here and this really pretty design throughout the middle. These definitely make a statement whether you're entertaining and they're on your dining room table in the middle of a centerpiece or if you add them to your mantle. I just definitely, I really like these. They're, they're substantial enough to make a statement, but they're also classic and traditional and I definitely couldn't pass them up. There was another pair as well that I found that were black, um, different design than this, but um, they wanted $4.99 a piece for them. I walked up to the front and, you know, asked, you know, these, these didn't have a price, you know, what are they? And typically when that happens, especially at Goodwill, they're, you know, oh, it's 99 cents or $2, but yeah, they wanted $4.99 a piece. And they were really thin and they were spray painted black. And these are actually like super heavy duty and they only wanted $2.50 a piece for them. So I ended up leaving those ones behind because I'm like, what the heck is going on with that? But, so that was a bummer, but I still got one more pair to show you. So this set of candlesticks I think is actually my second favorite find of the day. I love things that are old and worn and a little bit distressed or rustic. I love how traditional these look with the style here. This kind of, it almost looks like a banister. The height on them is great. They're very light, um, but they don't necessarily look like that. Um, and they have the, they, they fit a taper candle as well right on the end here. but. Somehow, I don't know if these were spray painted before and it has just kind of rubbed off or if someone just rubbed on paint um, here and there, but I just love, I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. And on the bottom, it has a little bit throughout here as well. And this one, you know, they don't match perfectly, obviously, because they're worn, but I mean, just look at the patina on that. It is so beautiful. And then you can see on the bottom here, just definitely rustic. It gives a little bit different vibe, a little bit less traditional. And honestly, they can mix and match as well. So if you had, you know, a few of these bigger ones with some of the smaller ones and you kind of staggered them with different height candles, that would be really pretty. Um, if you wanted to do it with a stack of books where, you know, this one's a little bit heavier. So I'd put that straight on the table and then put this one up on a stack of books and just really kind of mix and match the styles, I think would be really sweet. Um, sorry, clinking there. <laughs> I think that would be really sweet. And I mean, you really can't go wrong. I will buy candlesticks till the end of time. I just love them so much. So I was walking through the art section and turning towards the pillows and there was an end cap of these tiny little wall art pieces. And this little guy caught my eye. I mean, how fun is this? This is a beautiful piece of wood here with the Thomas Jefferson Mod Podge on the front. And I've never seen anything like this before. I feel like I'm always saying that, but that's one thing that I love about thrifting is that you're constantly finding new things, things from a different time, things from that are handmade and just being able to grab all these things and bring them together is so much fun for me. So hopefully you find that fun too. But I just thought this was a great piece to add to a gallery wall or even put it on a plate stand and put it on a bookshelf um, and just give it your home a little bit more of that traditional charm. I love that it's you know, kind of coming up just a little bit, slightly worn on the sides. It just makes it look so warm and weathered and gives it so much more charm. Um, and I mean, look at him so confident in that photo. So one last item I found in the same place as the Thomas Jefferson is this beautiful lady here. It is almost like a shadow box where I don't know if you can kind of see there, there's a definitely depth behind the glass here. Um, I don't normally pick up things with red in them um, as far as art is concerned, but I really did something about her. Her face said, you know, you know, you want to take me home. And I did. <laughs> I love this hanger. I don't, something about this style of hanger just draws me in too. I don't know what it is, just the character of it, I guess, but um, the gold accents on her and her little hat I thought was so pretty. So again, it says Colette on the bottom here and it was only $2.25. So that was a no brainer. It will go easily into my booth and just kind of be an easy pickup. So I don't know. I'll have to do a little more research about her. Maybe she's famous. I'm not sure. If you know down below, let me know in the comments. This one my husband actually found for me off camera and brought it to me. Typically when we're shopping as a family, he takes the big kids and I take the baby in the cart and we kind of split up because we're looking for different things. Um, but he came back and how chic is this little bear? I mean, oh my goodness, is she not adorable? I mean, look at this hat. Um, and she's also got a little purse here with a flower detail that matches the detail on her coat with these little rosettes here. Um, 
I just typically at Goodwill they have all at least ours in my area have a bin that any of the stuffed animals are 99 cents unless otherwise marked and most of them are typically 99 cents so no matter what it is and I find these old Boyd's Bears which is what this is um, and lots of other vintage stuffies for 99 cents all the time um, she actually happened to be have the tag still on and they wanted 4.99 for her I would not have paid $4.99 for it because I'm not keeping it for my personal collection. If I was, that would be a great price, but I want to resell them in my booth. And for something like this, um, in my booth will sell for about $12, especially because of the extra accessories and the fact that it still has a tag on it. But if it was just one of the normal ones that didn't have a tag, I honestly, I sell them for about $8.95 in my booth. And if I put it in my booth, it's typically gone within two or three days. That is the fastest turnover thing for me for some reason. I just, I thought they were adorable the first few that I put in there, thinking they were just gonna kind of sit around and make the booth look pretty. Um, but I honestly cannot source them fast enough. So if you have a vintage booth, try putting in some of these little stuffies and you might be surprised because more people want them than you think. Thank you so much for watching this far. I really hope you enjoyed this quick little trip to Goodwill. I certainly did myself. It kept the kids busy while our cars were getting done and I found some great things for my launch. So if you do want more information about that, you can shop the drop at 6 p.m. on May 5th at Central Time at boldenboutique.com or you can follow along on Instagram at boldenboutique just to get some more behind the scenes. I will have my entire vintage collection along with the earrings that are based on that collection um, available at that time. So if you're interested, check that out. If not, no problem. If you do love this, have loved this content, go ahead and like and subscribe. It would really help me out as I try to grow this channel. And keep leaving me feedback down below. If there's something that you saw that you loved, let me know, or something that I passed up on that you definitely would have put in your cart. I love to hear about it. And honestly, any other feedback in between. I'm trying to get better with each video that I have. Um, I believe it's only like my fifth video, so any feedback is greatly appreciated, and I really enjoy getting to know you in the comment section. So let me know down below what you thought. I will be back next week with another video, and I'll see you then.